Kate and Anna McGarrigal are with us tonight. Album 7 uh, was released uh, a few months ago. This is their first album in six years. It's wonderful to hear you two singing together again. You're going to keep making albums, aren't you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I mean, as long I mean, we're going to do another until record. the format changes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll be making EPs. Not yet. I think. I mean, as long as people want to, you know, make records of us, we'll we'll make them. Has the technology changed what you do at all? Uh, I don't think it changes what we do. I mean, it changes obviously in the studio. You, yeah. you go about it a different way, but I think we still do the same thing. Because someone, I, I don't know whether you said this of yourself or someone else who sort of put it to you, Anna, this question of, and it was like Michelangelo who always said the sculptures were in there. His job was just uh -huh. to take away the well, excess marble and that you see music that yeah, way. Yeah, I think a, lo no, a lot of people say things like that. You know, sometimes it's the instrument. The song is in the instrument. And sometimes yeah. you do pick up an instrument and nothing comes out of it. I mean, there's just, and it might be a gorgeous thing, but for you it doesn't work. And sometimes you pick up something else and, and it's, to me, uh, I guess what it is is uh, an instrument, um, the sounds help you create the song. I mean, the sounds that it So makes. in a sense, the song is in there somehow. It just yeah, has to get yeah, out. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so <laughs> that sounds like BS, but I think... No, I, I just... <laughs> it, yeah. The music was in that record. I had to chip away at <laughs> it, and there we were. <laughs> but is it, I mean, is it hard work? It's hard for people who don't do this, who don't perform, who don't is write it to hard understand. Work is to, it hard uh, work to, to record? To write, to create, or does it come to you? It, it, it comes to you, it comes to you, but it is hard, it's hard work to get it right. I mean, it's, it's nice, the idea should kind of come fresh. They shouldn't be too labored. You know, yeah. like when the idea is going to go, ah, oh, then you really kind of grow with them and you move with them. What you really need is to have some, like, that's what producers, that's where they come in hand and kind of like weed the stuff away and yeah. help you, this clear path coming through, you know, so that you do put, from the time the song is created to the time it goes to disc. Now, what about the process of writing and working together? Is that complicated or is it... Email. <laughs> is it really? No. <laughs> um, is it complicated? Usually when we write together, one of us already has a song that's half baked and then the other one will come in and listen and, and maybe make some suggestions. Mm -hmm. And then, so I think you'll see on this record there's a few co-writes and what it yeah. is, it's basically, you know, you suggest a bridge or a lyric or Something. That's how it comes yeah. around. Yeah. Now the song you're going to do for us, actually we had Amy Lou Harris here last fall and she did I saw your it. song. Oh, uh, she did do it. Oh, she, yeah, I and going back to Harlan on that album, she talked about yeah. that, she, very nice things mm. to say about yeah, you did. two and that she works up here. She comes up and... Yes. Yeah, she comes to, uh, well, as a matter of fact, she heard the song first of all. We were playing in Toronto. We were playing Opening at, for uh, the Neville Brothers. Well, yeah. At Ontario yeah. Place. Yeah. Oh, back around 92 or 93. Yeah. So does she just call you and say, gee, I'd love to do that song? No, she was there. She, she, she was in town shooting a video, yeah. and she heard that uh, we were playing. So she came down. She knows the Nevilles, and she knows us. Yeah. And she saw us do this song, and she said, please send me a tape. And it was so new at that time, we didn't even have a tape of it. So we raced home and made a tape. Sent, of made it tape. So <laughs> what's going back to Harlan about? It's about. It's actually about Pete Seeger. I mean, it's about, it's about <laughs> like going back. <laughs> Is it really? Well, no. It's about it's about folk music and being at a, an impressionable age, like a teenager, 15, 16, hearing this stuff, hearing about these fantastic characters in folk music who who die, of you know, die for love or whatever, mm -hmm. and, and you using those people as, not role models, but, um, you know, it's, uh, I always like to say it's sort of like the, uh, the characters in a Thomas Hardy novel that make such an impact on you, and these people in folk music, I think, made an impact on us when we were young and wanted to be in love with people that were like the... <laughs> these guys Are the you songs. two romantics? Terribly, very, very, very yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow is Valentine's Day, after I know, all. well, <laughs> we have our chocolate spot. <laughs> no, 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 we, we do have our romantics, we really are. Yeah. And, and can you, from that, find a definition of sisterly love, too? I think sisterly love, there are three of us, actually. Uh, uh, no, but I think, well, so, you know, it really kind of comes down to uh, kind of a mutual respect. Yeah. I mean, I think for, yeah. I mean, I think Anne and I have been working together for a long time, and we've never had major differences, but I think you define your character, you define your personality, and the other person tends to take the opposite one, yeah. you know, and you, you, you tend to, you tend to know when, when, where each one has a strength. Yeah. 
and I won't interfere with something that Anna thinks is artistically good because she went to art school. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean that kind yeah. of thing. You find, you find your place in the relationship and you also respect their place. You can't be a total egotist. Now will you two hopeless romantics go over there to your microphones and after you, Anna. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh, such sisterly love. So this will be going back to Harlan. Yeah. Okay. We're just going to tuck that chair in so that we can see you when you're over there performing. This. This. And this is off Matapedia. Am I saying that correctly? Matapedia. Matapedia. Which, Anna, is a town somewhere on... Uh... Uh, it's a town in... Uh, right on the Quebec, New Brunswick border. And, and it's in a... Um, it's where the Matapedia and the Restigouche rivers meet before they flow into the uh, Baie des Chaleurs. This is part of your Appalachian roots that you... Well, <laughs> well it's actually, it's the beginning of the Appalachian. Yeah. Right at that spot. Okay. That's sweet and simple. Kate and Anna McGarrigal, and they are doing Going Back to Harlan from their latest album, the first in six years, Matapedia. We'll be back after this break, have a little more conversation with the McGarrigal sisters. Mm -hmm. 